Yo, what's going on, my brain? It's Sage here, coming at you guys with a Rust game here today. So basically, last time we actually played this game, we ended up making a pistol. So that was pretty cool. And the episode went for like 30 minutes, but I'm probably going to only make them go for like 20 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, something like that. And the reason is because upload times get a little bit ridiculous when, um, when I start to stretch it out a bit more. So basically, oh, fucking, it's so stupid how everything disappears, but at least my chest didn't. Which I don't think I left action. Somebody gave me a pickaxe. So whoever just gave me a pickaxe, well, let me just say thank you very much, and I'll give you a fucking hug. I want to give you a hug, because whoever did it, I mean, I'm, I know I wasn't going to like, it. I know I wasn't going to like, sort of, oh, they actually got rid of a fence too. Dude, these guys are helping me out so much. But um, yeah. Like, I know I said I wasn't going to, sort of, take shit from them. I think they've been improving my little area. That's actually kind of cool of them, if I must say so. I mean, I'm not too keen on the idea of everybody helping me improve my little area, but if they want to, it's completely up to them because it is a multiplayer game, and they have... It seems like they're making a skyscraper city or something like that. Look at this place. Last time I was here, like, all this wasn't here. It's pretty insane. So pretty much, we're just going to stay away from them. I did realise that uh, Chains called in that airdrop that um, I was trying to take stuff from. And um, I'm very sorry for that, by the way, Chains. I didn't mean it. And what we're going to do now is try and find a zombie. Test them. Because I've um, DJ Pap actually sent me a link to a, uh, a wiki sort of thing, like a Rust wiki. And it says the pistol, like the revolver pistol has less damage than the bow and arrow. Now, if that's true, I'll stick to the bow and arrow for sure, because... Dude, look at this place. They're making, like, a really cool little sediment here. But, oh, uh, yeah, I'll stick to the revolver for, like, to the bow and arrow if I have to. How much range does this thing have? Probably not a lot. It does have quite a bit of range. Well, not so much. Right, we're gonna go start shit with this zombie over here and try and drop him like a tot. Oi! Dick face! Dick cheese! Right here, mate! Right here! Alright, so the pistol is a two shot kill, whereas the bow is a one shot kill. 9mm pistol blueprint. What? How do you actually check out. Does that just add it straight to, straight to your thing? No, it doesn't. Alright, DJ Pup, I'm gonna need your help again, buddy. How the hell do you use blueprints? Because I got one for a flashlight mod quite a while ago, but um, I didn't know how to use it, so I sort of just disregarded it. Um, but now we actually have one for a 9mm pistol, which might have a little bit more damage than the revolver we've got, because, let's face it, the revolver looks pretty scrappy. And my buttons aren't working. I don't say, never mind. It was just bugging out. So this has a slower swing rate. Ain't metal ore from that? Really? Jesus. Twenty wood! Alright dude, we're keeping this. Whoever gave me this pickaxe, I want to give you the biggest hug you've ever had in your entire goddamn life. You know what's, you know what's probably going to be amazing is that, like, next minute I realise that, you know, no matter what tool you've got, it just gives you the exact same amount of stuff from, like, the wooden shit. It just gives it to you quicker or slower or whatever. But who knows? I don't think so. I, I wouldn't expect it. I mean, we'll, we'll find out. But we're getting a lot of wood because I actually want to make a um, wooden foundation. I actually want to start making the house up on top of the hill. Because we're, we're sort of like slacking off, if you will. Like, we're kind of slacking off massively, if you wanted to say that. Um, because, like, look at these guys. These guys, they're probably, they're obviously on it more than I am. Because I have to come home from work and then I have to, like, chill out for a little bit and then come on and play. But, um, hmm. Yeah, um, these guys are probably on it much more than I am. And I need to, like, figure out where the hell the middle of the screen... Oh, well. Alright. So I'm trying to figure out where the middle... where it sh fires about. Does this just go straight through? I'm wasting so many arrows, but I'll just make it. You see, the arrows are so much more light... So much more of a liable freaking um, weapon than... than like the pistol is. Pistol kills in two shots, mind you, but... Bow. And that didn't hit him. Alright, we're just gonna go... We're just gonna run at this guy with the pistol. 
Oi, come here, you tit. Come on. Go on then. Oh, the recoil. The recoil is massive. Alright. So at least we've actually got a gun. I can't complain, to be dead honest with you guys, because the gun's actually kind of useful. 5.56 five, and cloth. We actually need cloth, so that'll actually become coming quite handy. A stone pickaxe. Oh, a stone pickaxe. Jesus Christ. So we've actually got two of these. So whoever gave me that pickaxe, you guys can have the one I just found, because that was, that was um, genuine... Um, how, how do you say it? Genuine generosity, that's it. That's how you say it. Now, what is this doing here? It's a tarp! It's a trap! I'm going to take it anyway, I don't give a shit. Alright, so the pickaxe you can't swing unless you can actually get close, whereas the axe you can swing no matter what. No, you can. It's just bugging out sometimes. Alright, so we're going to go up the top and we're going to make some wooden planks, because we need to make wooden planks for the wooden foundation, wooden foundation for basically every building that you're ever going to make. Um, I kind of want to get rid of that, so if anybody's watching this, or this, like, this far in, and um, you have explosives, that wall, that one there, just saying, just, if you guys want to get rid of it, fuck it off, clocks. And the furnace goes as well, dude, like, what the hell? I don't get it, like, then, I think it's a bug, or maybe someone's fucking with me, I don't have no idea, but, um, like, it, it just disappears. I don't know, I don't understand why it would do such a thing. It's, it's bullshit. Uh, so we actually have quite a lot of wood here. Just gonna make a... I'm actually gonna try and start cooking all this stuff as well. So we're gonna split that, and then we're gonna split it again. We've got a stack of... Two ta stacks of four and a stack of seven. Um, 103 metal ore, so that's pretty insane. We've got a flashlight mod that'll put that on a pistol or something. I'm starting to think... Uh, where did that um, campfire go? I probably just dropped that on the ground. Like me. <laughs> did I just cra like craft the campfire and have no place to put it? Wow, dude, I'm such a derp. I don't know why you have these. A rock. Yeah, that's great. That's great and all, but I really don't need them, dude. Um, to make gunpowder as well, you need charcoal and sulfur. I think I've figured that out last episode, which is alright because we actually have quite a lot of charcoal, or we have a bit of charcoal and a bit of sulfur. We actually have like pretty equal actually amounts of that. What's this? That's stones. That's to make axes and stuff. Keep that on us, keep that on us, keep that on us. We're gonna move. Fuck. Move that there. This interface needs to be bigger. Like, I, I hope, like, um. I know, like, the creators of fucking Rust ain't gonna watch my videos in general. But, you know, I hope that they actually are listening to the community and what they need to change and stuff, because they're gonna be very helpful. Um... Alright, we need to get this camp... We need to make another campfire. Because <laughs> we're done fucked up. Right, craft, craft another campfire. It only takes 20 seconds. Gonna put that down, we're gonna make another... Workbench. And then I'm thinking of making a door? We might actually be able to make a door without a workbench. I mean, I'm pretty sure it'll probably be a better idea to make the metal door. Um, that's just so I can keep my chest safe, you know what I mean? So, you know, people don't go in and rob my shit. I mean, I'm pretty sure people could probably just blow the freaking thing up and get in there, but hey. Wah, blah, 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 hey. I don't know. I forgot how to do this. <laughs> Open. Um, yeah, just put all this in here. We might actually split that, split that, split that. Give it some more burning material so it lasts quite a while. Um, all right, crafting table. We need to make. Oh, fuck, keep calling a crafting table. We need to make a workbench. What do we need for this? We need stones, eight of them, and fifty wood. Okay, I've got all that stuff now. Wooden door. No description available. I'm not sure if that's got a lock on it, so we're probably not even going to worry about that. Um, it's turning night time, which kind of blows, but, you know, it's what you got to do anyway. So you need 200 metal fragments for a metal door. Which is, uh, I don't know. Forgot how to open a chest. Hey, dickhead. 
Uh, metal fragments, metal fragments, metal fragments. I know I have seven metal fragments there. Hundred metal ore. We need to make a furnace though. That's another thing we need to do. There's so much shit we need to do. <laughs> Alright. But instead, we're going to just make those wooden planks like we said we were going to. Not, not fart us around too much. Just get on this grind that we really wanted to do. Wood planks. See, gunpowder, you need charcoal and sulfur, see? You need two of each to make one gunpowder, I'm pretty sure. Which isn't too bad, I mean, it's not fantastic or anything, but... Indoctrinator. Okay, I don't know him. But, um, that's cool enough, I guess. I'm gonna make ten of these, it's gonna take twenty seconds. They craft pretty quick, actually. I, I must admit, I like how fast those craft. Um, we got a pickaxe now, so getting wood is not such a bad idea. I mean, going down there and just grabbing it is pretty piss easy. Can you actually, like, add a flashlight mod to a revolver? Right, we'll tell you what we're going to do. We've got ten wooden planks. We need to get a foundation happening. Foundation. Craft that. 60 seconds. I'm going to walk in here, go in my chest, and we're going to look for stones. We need to make a crafting bench, because I really want to... I mean, I love it how DJ Pap helps me out so much, like he's an insane mad dude for doing that. But I'd like to learn something about myself for once. <laughs> so, I'm thinking of making some sparkles. I actually was playing on a server before and other people were playing on it. And they actually ended up having sparkles cover their, you know, cover their sort of thing. And it was insane, like the freaking defense was brutal. Like, I tried to get into, inside the house, I was like, oh yeah, spike walls mustn't be that big, because there's a large spike walls, and then there's normal spike walls. Uh, how long has night time been going? It just started, man. Um, but, yeah. Like, I've been on another server where they had spike walls, and they're not too bad, they do hurt you pretty severely. But, um, not to the extent where you're not going to learn your lesson, so... <laughs> I don't know, we'll have to figure out how much, uh, how much the, uh, large spike walls are. Maybe we could put that... there, I guess. I guess I've been on this server for ages? It kind of sounds like I'm whoring myself out every time somebody asks about why I'm on the server. And I always tell them that, you know, oh, it's YouTube related sort of thing. But uh, it's it's just telling the truth, you know. Do I need a foundation for this? Oh, yep, there we go. That is much higher than I expected. <laughs> oh, dude, that is cool. Huh? Huh. It's all... Oh, gee, man. Thanks for the courtesy, though, in Indoctr Indoctrinator, I think that's how you say his name. Yeah, I like people like that. They're freaking cool people. Ah, uh, workbench. There we go, crop that. So we're going to get a workbench, and we're going to try and figure out how to do this uh, blueprint thing, because... I really want to know how. You need low-quality metal. How do you make low-quality metal? I'm pretty sure that's just metal fragments. You know if this server has an admin? I'm not sure, man. Sorry that I'm stopped talking as well, guys. I'm not a woman, so I can't multitask. I can't talk to you guys and talk to this guy at the same time. <coughs> Far out. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Basically, all right. Now we finished the crafting table, the workbench. I'm to be 100% honest with you guys. I'm pretty pissed that this disappears. Like it's pretty stupid how it does disappear all the, all the goddamn time. I'm not, I'm not sure if somebody's, like, legit fucking with me and just coming along and, like, full on... Was it that fucking easy? Was it really that easy? <laughs> so you need 15 metal fragments to make the thing. 
See, that's the gun I was looking at. Damage, 25, damage, 20. So that has more damage. That has less recoil, more more range, or the same range? See, I'll need to find schematics or something like that for a uh, assault rifle or something. That'll be very helpful, I reckon. Oh, my nose is playing up bad. Wooden ramp. How much do you need for a wooden ramp? You need five. Hmm. I was thinking of making like another um, wooden foundation, like sort of bringing a ramp up here, then making a wooden found. All right, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. It's we're going on for 15 minutes. We'll probably make it 20, uh, just because I love you guys so much. <laughs> no homo. Wooden gate. So we're gonna make a couple spike walls. They're 100 each, and we only have 183 wood left. What I might do is make. 18 wooden planks. I know these are kind of wasteful. Uh, actually, we'll make... We'll make 13 wooden planks, because that'll round it off to um, 15, and how much we have. And I should be able to make a ramp and another foundation with that. And then we should end the episode there, but... I know it seems kind of wasteful, me wasting 130... Wood on just like wooden planks. I mean, it seems to me that's wasteful because 10 wood equals up to one wooden plank. I mean, that's I reckon that's kind of stupid. I mean, maybe five would would be more reasonable. But, um, right, what, what are we looking for here? We are looking for wood ramp, which is five, which is awesome. That takes 15 seconds to do, and we're looking for a wooden foundation, which only takes 60 seconds, I think. We need the wooden foundation to put uh, put down to smoothen it off. Otherwise, you're just going to keep walking up. You just have this great massive dip, and I reckon it looks stupid if that was to be like that. I mean, I wish we could move like this um this little sh shit shack we've got at the side here, but unfortunately you can't. We're just going to move this down here. It'll be cold for a second. Move that up there. Rotate that around like so. See, it's massive. It goes up so high. That's alright. It's not too bad. Alright. Now we gotta make a, another another foundation. That's sixty seconds. Right, how's the fire going? How's the wood oh, actually yeah we were cooking something, weren't we? Completely one hundred percent forgot that we we're cooking something. Oh and all the food is done, look at that. Look at that juicy goodness. Now in the wiki, it actually says the bow's got like 80 odd damage, which, mind you, is a lot compared to the pistol, which only has 29. Like, the bow kills zombies and animals. Z animals is like two shots, and a zombie is one, sh uh, is one shot. Now, that's pretty freaking awesome, so I might actually end up just sticking with a bow. It's less like, you know, because you've got to have the drawback and then all that type of stuff, but then again, the pistol has recoil. So... And I've got the sniffles now, because I sneezed before. But, yeah. So, I, can, I guess they kind of cancel themselves out, don't they? We have 26, like, food now. That's pretty wicked. And once again, I'm probably going to have to... I'm probably going to take all my resources and put them in my inventory, so... They don't get stolen off me again. I mean, it's not that I don't trust anybody, but... Until I get a clear answer that, um... That your stuff stays or it disappears... Like, I don't... Right, so you can't actually put that there? That is so gay! Alright, that sucks. That sucks balls. I just wasted a found wooden foundation for nothing. Well, that sucks! But it doesn't really, because we can actually go down here now and add this onto the foundation down here. Is there a ramp there? There is a ramp there, isn't there? That's alright, we'll just cancel it out. Alright. Kind of excessive <laughs> having this ramp here, to be honest with you. But uh, hopefully we'll figure out a way to actually make this work. I'm hoping we will. It shouldn't be too bloody hard, but I was about to say, where the hell's my workbench again? Do we actually need for the new pistol? Do we need a um, workbench for it? Yeah, it does. Uh, so basically, that's pretty cool. We got a new we got a new pistol in this episode. We got tons of food back. We got a found out how good the pistol was, some person just gifted us a freaking uh, bloody p 
pickaxe, which is freaking awesome. We're actually going to leave them in there because we don't really need them. I don't know why they keep spawning. Like, those keep spawning. Like, the rocks keep spawning, but your crafting table and everything else just fucks off. Ah, it just doesn't, mean, doesn't even make sense to me. Especially the furnace, where it takes low-grade fuel for you to make it. Like, that's kind of dumb. Like, to be 100% honest, it's kind of fucking stupid. But yeah, we're just going to leave all that stuff in there, and that'll basically be it for today. So, as it went night time, we didn't really venture out too much, which is good, because, as we all know, night time kind of sucks nuts in this game. I mean, it's not so bad right now, because you can actually see, see shit, so it's not too bad, but, um... I reckon we got some good shit done today. So tomorrow's going to be Rust again as well, guys. And um, as well as tomorrow's going to be Rust, I'm going to announce something as well, like tomorrow. Uh, so stand by for that. But uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoy the next one. And so like, 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 subscribe if you liked it. My name's been Sage, and I love you all very much, Lee, and I'll talk to you guys later. Right, peace out, guys. Stay safe.